let's go ahead and make our homemade no-bake guava cheesecake just like Pollo Tropical's cheesecake. It is so good. We're going to start off with some melted butter. That's three tablespoons of melted butter and I've got some Biscoff cookies here. This is what I'm using to make my crust. You can also use graham crackers or digestive biscuits, whatever you choose. I'm going to be placing these crackers into a Ziploc bag and we're going to be crushing these up with a rolling pin. Now, you can also buy pre-made cheesecake crust, but you want it, you're going to want two of those. You're going to need two of these for this recipe because those are pretty big cheesecake. And I find that those um, crusts are pretty small. They're more for smaller cheesecakes. So, I mean, if you could try and fit it into one, that's up to you, but I think two would be perfect. I'm just going to close my bag. I have a little bit of a pinch of cinnamon in there as well. I added a pinch of cinnamon to my cookies. I'm going to crush this up with my rolling pin until it becomes very fine. Just crush them up. Now my oven is preheated to 350 degrees. The cheesecake itself is not a, it is an, you're not going to be baking it, but the crust you're going to be baking. So I'm going to add in my melted butter to my cookies and um, my crushed up cookies and I'm going to mix this until it becomes like wet sand until all that butter just goes throughout the cookies and it starts to hold its shape. Now we're going to be baking this for 8 to 10 minutes at 350 degrees. So I've got my spring form pan here. I'm just going to make sure that it's nice. You can see that it's nice holding its shape. I'm going to pour it all into my pan and using my hand, I'm going to just press it down on the bottom and a little way up on the sides. This is the only part of the cheesecake you're going to be baking. So if you're using a store-bought um, crust, you're not going to be needing to bake that. But just because I'm making it from scratch, I'm going to bake the crust a little bit because these cookies are just delicious. So it makes the, the crust extra special in my opinion. But whatever floats your boat, you go ahead and do. Just using the back of my hands and stuff, I'm just going to press it down and up on the sides a little bit or so, and then it's going to bake for about 8 to 10 minutes. Now we're also going to be needing some other ingredients, and there are going to be some heavy whipping cream. You're going to also need some cream cheese, two blocks of cream cheese. That's the heavy whipping cream there. You're also going to need some powdered sugar or confectioner sugar and guava paste. This is a 14-ounce thing of guava paste and a quarter cup of milk milk. All the amounts will be listed in the description box. Now you can find guava paste in your grocery store. I'm going to start whipping my heavy cream until it starts to thicken up just like so and then I'm going to add in my confectioner sugar or powdered sugar and then we're going to mix this up until it becomes stiff peaks. You don't want to overmix because it will turn to butter but until it starts to be really nice and stiff peaks then we we'll know we're good. Put that in the fridge so we're ready for it. Now, our guava paste, I put in a saucepan, and on my sauce, my heat is on medium heat, and I added in my one quarter cup of milk. I'm going to use my spoon and try and break it up. Now, it's very thick and it's very sticky, so just keep an eye on that. But we're going to break this up, and as it goes, you just want to constantly stir it or because it's going to start to melt, and it's just going to melt all down. Now, you can find this in the international section of your grocery store, or where you find all the rice and all the beans and all of that stuff. Now, I'm going to pour my guava paste into my cream cheese, which is at room temperature. My cream cheese is at room temperature. I'm going to start to mix these two together. And then we're just going to mix that until it gets all incorporated. Now it's very, very thick. I'm going to use my spatula and I'm just going to um, get to the bottom, make sure everything gets really well incorporated. I'm going to take that same spatula and I'm going to add in half of my heavy cream mixture and mix that all around. You can use a wooden spoon if you want, just mix it all together. I'm going to add the other half of my heavy cream and mix it until it's well incorporated. Everything is well incorporated. Now we're going to get our crust that we baked and it's already cooled and everything and we're going to pour this into it make sure everything is level and place in the fridge for about eight hours or overnight would be better it's so creamy it is so delicious i can't even begin to tell you if you've ever had pollo tropicals guava cheesecake and you love that you will love this recipe. It, guava paste is very inexpensive. It is so delicious. I can't even begin to explain to you. I wish I could, but I can't. You just have to go and try this yourself because it's that good. I hope that you guys enjoy this recipe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.